This morning I woke up and I decided that I was going to talk about this before leaving the house. So I'm going to do it quickly. It's something that is not actually a story. Um, it's a practice that um, those of us who grew up in the rural areas we know about. And even if you didn't grow up in the rural area, of course, you've traveled to the village a number of times. So you know about this and those, of course, in the urban centers and the most industrialized countries, of course. When they go to the campaign and when they go to the peripheries of the city, of course, they do this in their various places. Now, in, in the rural area, in the village, we had firewood that we used for cooking. So you would place the firewood, and this is not actually very good in terms of demonstration because I would need so many other things. But then you had the firewood, you know, placed there for cooking and then on top of that you placed your pots to cook okay now I don't know if the video is getting it but on top of that you placed your pots to cook and then you would cook now the practice that I'm actually trying to explain is not the fire itself but what takes place here now this is a basket we call that in Giga in my language now the basket is actually placed above the fireplace so normally it will hang down the roof it's not going to be here but not of this level because of course i'm trying to show this so i'm keeping it here so that you can see it now it will hang down the roof you know and be up there so that the hands of kids would actually touch it so it will be the adults that will actually go there to take things now when your parents came back from the market you know they would have all the the meat, the fish, and some of the precious condiments that they normally use to cook. So they would bring that and then place them inside the basket. That's dingiga. And then, of course, it's hanging down the roof, and that's them. Now, why did I, why did I bring up this practice? Now, this is something that I used to encourage myself a number of times whenever I'm going through um, difficult times, whenever I'm going through challenges and all that. I take myself to be like that's meat or that fish or that important you know condiment that you use in preparing your delicious meals um, that is placed inside here now my mom placed those things inside here because she wants to preserve them you know from the maggots and from other rodents that would have picked those things up and then placing them here also preserves them from getting spoiled all right, because if you place them in some of the cool places in the house, those things are going to get spoiled in a matter of days and all that. So she places them here and in days to come or in weeks to come, whenever she comes, those things are still intact. They don't have problems, they're not putrefied. And sometimes they actually taste better compared to how um, their taste originally, like when they were bought from the markets. So, Sometimes, whenever I'm going through difficult times, I take myself to be like that kind of meat, that meat that was, that was placed there. It's not funny for that meat to be above the fireplace because the heat is coming from the down, all right? The soot is settling on it and so many other things. So it's not funny. But then the mom, the woman that placed it inside that basket actually thinks that this is precious. This is something that is good this is important to me i'm not going to keep it anyhow carelessly in the house i'm going to keep it in the place that i think it is the safest place to keep it now this is the kind of mindset i have so whenever i'm going through difficulties i tell myself god might actually be putting me in this kind of situation for preservation um, who knows what would have happened to me if i weren't you know going through that kind of situation probably god is using that to teach me something god is using that to refine me god is using that to refocus me to reshape my focus to reprioritize the things that i see myself or he's saving me from danger so god knows what he's doing like my mom knows what she's doing by placing that meat there that's the same thing that god knows what he's doing when he's making me to pass through fire so to say and you know that most of the things that we find um, in this world, like the iron ore, for example, the iron ore, I mean, you find it in the raw, as a raw material, so it's not yet processed. It has to go through the blast furnace, you know, through intense heat, 
before it can become the peak iron and then of course um, you make steel with that and of course the oil that we know about all the materials all the components that come out from the crude oil eventually all of them i mean all of them came out after the oil must have gone through the refining process which of course takes a lot of heat too so whenever you are going through any problems i mean i just want you to apply this that that doesn't mean that you don't have to strive that doesn't mean that you don't have to work hard but if you are working hard and you're doing all that you can and you still experience all the challenges and all the problems come of course all of us have that um, sometimes god is actually trying to preserve you you know from all other things that are surrounding you and he's also trying to make sure that when you come out you're going to come out tasting better